Hi, my name is Sebastian from CodingTheSmartWay.com and today in this video I'm going to show you how to integrate material design components with your Vue.js 2 application and we will do so by building a simple sample application I'll show you in a minute and we will use a library called Vue-Material and with that library we can easily integrate um, material design components in your Vue.js 2 application and make use of those components within your templates. So let's get started. Okay, so let's first take a look um, at the sample application we are going to build in uh, this tutorial and you will see it here. So it's just a very basic application, just showing you how to integrate material design components in your view. Uh, JS2 application and as you can see here our user interface is um, uh, very simple. Um, we are using various view, uh, various material design components here to build up um, the user interface. We have um, a card here uh, which is containing all the elements, um, two, two buttons and a table here and by using uh, those two buttons um, we can first uh, click on fill table and you see um, here the table <coughs> um, is filled with uh, three um, data items and we can use the other button clear table to just remove the items from the table and um, yeah that's basically all we are going to build because the main aim of this tutorial is to show how to use um, view material um, as a library to integrate material design in your Vue.js application. Um, so the first step we're going to, to, um, to complete is to first set up a new initial Vue.js 2 project. Okay, so let's start. Um, initializing a new Vue.js application is um, very easy by using the view um, CLI, the command line interface, and um, uh, the view command line interface gives you access to a command which um, is um, named view. And we can use that command to um, pass a, a few parameters here. We say init and then we say webpack because we want to use um, the Vue.js2 project template which is, which is based on webpack and then um, specify the name of the project. So let's call it Vue.js um, MD for material design. Okay, now you can see um, here um, a few questions coming up um, here on the command line. Um, but I can uh, just um, leave um, most of the uh, answers to um, the default which is given here. So project name, project description is default, author is default, uh, the view build option, I choose runtime and compiler. I do not want to use ESLint here in my project because we want to keep, keep things uh, simple. Um, I do not want to use a set up unit tests with Karma and Mocker, so no. And um, I do not want to have end-to-end -end testing integrated here, so again, no. <coughs> so that's all. Now uh, you can see it here, a new folder has been created, uh, Vue.js-MD. And I can <coughs> uh, switch into that folder now and um, to complete. Um, the setup of the project, I now need to execute npm install because executing this command makes sure that all the needed dependencies, which are already listed in the package.json file here within the project folder, are downloaded and installed into our project. So let's execute npm install and it takes a second to download everything and install it here. Okay, here we are. You can see all the dependencies have been downloaded and installed successfully to our project. And uh, now just to make sure that everything is running, uh, we can start up the uh, development server by entering npm um, run dev. And that's starting up the development server and opening up our Vue.js uh, application in the browser automatically here on port 8080. <coughs> And uh, so here it is loaded. You can see that's that's the output of, of the default of Vue.js application. And now we can start um, with um, first integrating uh, the Vue material library, which gives us access to 
um, the material design components and then use those components in um, one of uh, our components and uh, in the in the associated templates. So there's one more dependency um, we need to install to our project. Um, that is a dependency which is not in uh, the default set of dependencies. Um, and uh, that is the uh, view material library. And um, the website of this project can be found here at viewmaterial.github.io. And you can see here on uh, the uh, um, the overview page, you have a button um, getting started. And if I click on the button, um, here you will find instructions of how to install the view material library to your project. And um, basically we need to do two things. We need to uh, install the view-material npm package. And then, um, and you can see it here, include um, the uh, Roboto font and uh, the icon set um, from um, Google's content delivery network here um, by yeah, just copying those two link elements to our um, index.html file in the project. Okay, so let's begin with uh, installing the npm package. I'm switching back to um, the terminal window and I'm stopping the web server here for a moment and then use the command npm install um, view-material, that's the name of the library and I'm <clears throat> also passing over the uh, dash dash save option um, for making sure that the view material dependency is also added to the list of dependencies available in the package.json file. Okay, so let's install it. Um, it's downloaded and again installed into the node modules folder of um, the project. Okay, here we are. You can see installation um, has been completed successfully. And uh, the next step is to um, yeah, load the, our project into um, the code editor. And I'm using Atom here in that case. So I'm launching Atom um, here in the project directory. Okay, here it is. Okay, and then I need to open up index.html. Go back here to the website and just copy those two link elements here. Go back to Atom and insert both link elements inside of the head section here in index.html. Okay. So the next thing um, needs to be inserted here in uh, the uh, file main.js in the source folder and uh, the file main.js as you can see here is containing the main entry point um, for the Vue.js application so Vue um, the main uh, framework class is imported here and a new instance is created and that's the entry point of the Vue application <coughs> and now we need to add two more import statements here to make um, the uh, material design components available in, in our application. So first we need to say import uh, view material um, from view-material. That's the name of the library. And um, we also need to import um, um, the corresponding style sheet. Um, that's called view-material. Uh, slash dist slash view dash material dot css okay uh, with both import statements available we need now say view dot use and pass over view material that is configuring the framework so that it knows that there is a plugin available view material and that uh, those plugin is loaded and by loading view material um, we make the uh, material components available to our application. Okay, so let's start using some of the uh, material components. Um, first, we need to open app.view. That's the place where the main 
uh, Vue.js component of our application is implemented. And you can see the file is already containing the default implementation of uh, app component. And uh, we now need to start um, implementing uh, the user interface for our sample application by first deleting uh, the template um, content, which is here inside the diff uh, tag with uh, the ID of app assigned. So let's uh, remove it. And we can also remove here the um, components property in the component configuration object because um, we do not want to use the hello component, which is available here in the components folder. We uh, do not want to include the hello component. We are just using the uh, app component here. So we have um, no dependency to the hello component here. So let's remove it. Um, okay. <clears throat> okay, so let's start here in the template. Um, the first um, element we want to um, use in our user interface is um, a material design card. And we can include um, those cards by using the md-card element here. Okay, and the card uh, consists of um, two, two sections. One is the MD card header section. Okay, not MD card header. Okay, let's close it here. And uh, the second section uh, we need to include here is uh, of course, the md-card-content um, section. Okay, so within the header of the card, we are including um, first the title. Let's give our application a title. And we do so by using a div tag here and uh, assigning um, the md-title class, which also comes from the material design um, framework. And we are using the title um, material design with Vue.js 2 demo here. And uh, let's also include a sub a subheadline. Let's use another div element here and we are assigning the class of md uh, subhead yeah okay and uh, let's give a sub headline text here by coding the smart way dot com okay so for a moment uh, you can see we have now uh, filled up the header section of the card the content is just left empty Okay, before implementing the card content section here, let's uh, switch over to uh, the terminal again and um, start um, the uh, development web server again so that we can already see what's there. And you can see the application is uh, loading again here in the browser and, and now you can see here here is the card layout. Um, we already have a headline here and we have um, a subheadline. And uh, now we can arrange um, that window here to uh, maybe have it side by side with my code editor. And I just want to, to remove some of the styling which is included here. So let's remove, let's remove everything. Um, only the margin top can, can be left. Okay, here it is. Um, okay, so let's continue um, in the uh, md-card-content section here. The first thing now we would like to do here is to bring in two buttons and we do so by using uh, the uh, material design component md-button. And uh, the button now needs uh, classes and um, one class we are using is md dash uh, raised, and the second is md dash primary. 
and uh, then of course we would like to uh, respond to uh, the click event of the button and to do so in view um, js we are using the directive uh, v dash on a colon followed by the name of the um, event type we want to respond to and that is uh, of course a click event and now we are assigning here a string which is containing the uh, event handler method so let's name it fill table because if the user clicks here on that button we want to fill the table um, of course we need to implement uh, that method later on okay so let's name the button fill table and uh, close the empty dash button element here okay like so um okay so then we need another button again we are assigning the classes uh, md dash raised and md dash primary and we're attaching an event handler for the click event which is called in that case um, let's name it clear table okay okay so let's save it and uh, see um, how the output uh, has changed now you can see um, it's not only containing a card with uh, just headlines it's also containing both buttons here um, in the blue layout in the blue um, in the blue color we have chosen by selecting the class md dash primary okay before continuing uh, the implementation of the template by adding the table maybe let's go to the style section here and to make the card layout a little bit more visible here on the left border and the right border let's attach a margin um, uh, left of uh, let's say 30 pixel and let's uh, touch a margin um, right again 30 pixel and see how the output changes <clears throat> okay let's save it okay let's remove the uh, space okay here it is <clears throat> so next add uh, the table to our output and we uh, do so um, here under the closing tag of md-card-content and um, the table is added by using um, the element md-table um, on top And within that element, we first need um, uh, md dash table dash header section. Like so. And within the header section of the table, we are including a md dash table dash row for uh, the headlines. Let's close it. Okay, so in total our table consists of uh, three rows, so we need uh, three headlines. And uh, each headline is included by using the md-table-head element. Um, okay. Like so, let's copy it. Okay, the first column should uh, <clears throat> should get assigned the headline first name. The second is last name. And uh, the last one is email. Okay, and you can see here it is. And uh, now, of course, we do not only need a table header, we also need a table body. And the table body is included by using md-table body. OK. 
Okay. And within that body section, um, we are again including MD table row. And now, of course, we want to generate um, a new row for each uh, data item which is available for output. And we do uh, that by using the B dash for um, directive. And uh, let's say contact in contacts. Um, later on, we will, we will be defining contacts, which uh, will be an array. And that array is filled by using the button fill table. And it's emptied by using the clear table button, of course. So let's first uh, complete the implementation of the template before doing so. And um, okay, let's close this row here. Okay, within that uh, row, we need to input um, three things for um, each, each of the columns. We need to output the corresponding value in contact. And uh, again, we do it by using a new element, which is called md-table-cell. Okay, we need it three times. So one, two, three. And now we are using the uh, Vue.js interpolation syntax with double curly braces. Um, no curly braces. Okay, so first we need to output contact dot first name. Then we need to output contact last name. And the last property within the contacts object is called um, email. Okay, let's save it. Okay, you can see the output has not changed. Uh, the reason, of course, is we have not defined a contacts or a array already in our application. So there is no data to output and therefore no table row is generated, only the headlines. And so it's empty at the moment. Okay, so next uh, let's add um, the context array to uh, the data model of our component. And we do that by um, going here to the um, um, exported uh, component configuration object, which at the moment only consists of the name property, um, which gets here assigned the value, the string value app. <coughs> and now we are going to add um, the data property which is a function um, and the function is returning um, an object. So return object, um, which is containing all the data properties we would like to use in our application and we would like to use in our template. And at the moment we are in need of um, the contacts array. So let's define it here. So contacts and um, let's say it's empty by default. So it has no items assigned. I'll save it here. You can see here in the output, nothing is uh, changing. And now we need to implement the two method, methods, uh, fill table and clear table. And we do that by adding another property here. And that uh, property is called methods and methods is uh, an object containing the implementation of both functions. So fill table first. Um, okay, it's a function. And um, we are implementing the fill table function by um, adding data to the contacts um, array. So we would like to have um, three items inserted here by that function. So let's start this contacts. And we are using the push function here. <coughs> okay, and push is getting passed in uh, the object we would like to insert as an array item. And of course, we are needing an object here which contains three properties. Um, the first property is first name. 
Okay, let's assign my name here. And um, the second property is last name. And the third property is, of course, email. Okay, and I'm assigning an email address here. Okay, <clears throat> so here we are. Now let's um, copy that line and insert it a second and a third time. Let's change uh, the values here. So first name in that case, let's uh, say Bill. Um, we have last name, um, Smith. And I need to change the email address string as well. And uh, in the third item here, I choose as first name and as last name, um, let's say Parker and email address as well, a.parker. Okay, so now we have three <coughs> items um, being inserted here by the push cords to our array. And uh, okay, let's implement um, clear table as well. Okay, it's again a function, of course. And uh, in uh, this case, we want to empty the table, and we do that by emptying the uh, contacts array. And this is done by um, calling the um, splice method and we splice all the elements out so from uh, zero to uh, this contact length okay here we are okay then finally check the result here in the browser and now again you can see the output has not changed yet uh, that is okay because um, Initially, the context array is empty, and then we need to call the fill table uh, method by clicking here on that button. And if I do so, you can see the table is filled here with uh, three items. Um, that is a result um, we have been expected to see. And uh, now I can remove everything which is here in the table um, by hitting clear table. You can see the table is, um, is empty now. Everything was removed. So that is exactly the result we would like to have here in our sample application. Thank you very much for watching. This was Sebastian from CodingTheSmartWay.com. If you do like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and also visit my website at CodingTheSmartWay.com. Thank you very much again. See you the next time. Bye.